Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're paddling, floating, and exploring our way through some of the best Wisconsin River communities. I am working so hard right now. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Today we're exploring this gorgeous nature all around us on the Wisconsin River. And some of the fun things to do both on and off the water in these beautiful Wisconsin River communities. Stretching 430 miles long, the Wisconsin River is the state's longest river. We're traveling the 92 miles that make up the lower Wisconsin Riverway, which flows into the Mississippi River. Let's get our adventure started in Sauk City and Prairie du Sac, also known as Sauk Prairie. Oh, it's a beautiful uh, scenic area, as you can see from the background here. Uh, we're also blessed with the Wisconsin River. We have many lakes in our area. We're very centrally located to a lot of other uh, tourism sites. Close to fishing, boating, and jet skiing on Lake Wisconsin, the Merrimack Ferry, and Devil's Lake State Park, great activities, camping, and hiking can be found all around the Sauk Prairie area. Head up to the Ferry Bluff State Natural Area and check out the view from more than 300 feet above the Wisconsin River. Also overlooking the river is Wollersheim Winery. In fact, the river plays an integral role in their grape growing. This site that the winery was founded on is actually because of the Wisconsin River. The Wisconsin River creates a nice little microclimate and so our steep hills uh, overlook the river and it helps keep the vines dry from the slopes but also a little bit warmer because of the Wisconsin River. You can taste the difference for yourself and sample over 20 grape wines at Wollersheim. Plus, learn more about the winery on their daily tours. Okay, Colin, I think it's about time we venture out onto the river. Just grab a canoe or kayak from one of several outfitters in the area to get started on a day trip or some overnight camping. And if you're looking for some relaxing, lazy river tubing, head over to Wisconsin River Outings. We met some new friends around the canoe garden campfire, <laughs> then set out on our tubing adventure. What's a successful tubing trip? If, Everyone if has we don't fun. have to think about anything while we're here, that's pretty much a successful trip. It's like a accomplished. perfect little vacation away from like doing the everyday stuff. Yeah. Just sit and you don't have to think about anything else. We stopped at one of the sandbars along the way and caught up with two brothers who just enjoy hanging out on the river. Great views, it's peaceful, you're out here by yourself. Every once in a while you see some wildlife, which is pretty cool too. These sandbars are dotted throughout the Wisconsin River and like anybody can come here. You guys are just tossing the frisbee around. Well, mainly we're just here for the day and we just kind of sandbar hop all the way down. That sounds like a plan to me. Need a rental to begin your tubing trip down the Wisconsin River? First head to discoverwisconsin.com and choose Sauk Prairie as your destination. Stay there, we're coming right back to Sauk Prairie for even more fun on the river. It's blue skies, it's sandy shores, it's relatively blue water. I mean, it's fantastic. Welcome back to the Wisconsin River, right here on Discover Wisconsin. There are a few things Sauk Prairie is best known for. Bald eagles, we'll get back to that in a minute. The Wisconsin State Cow Chip Throw and Festival. Yep, you heard that right. And of course, the home of the original Butter Burger, the very first Culver's restaurant. I moved here with my family when I was one year old, so this is home. This is home. We've got the Wisconsin River. We've got the Baraboo Bluffs. We've got so many wonderful things going on here. We've got great agriculture, great neighbors here in the, in the community, uh, a lot of wonderful businesses here as well. Both downtown Sauk City and Prairie du Sac feature delicious restaurants and a variety of shopping all over town. Check out River's Edge Mall for wilderness gear and specialty gifts. You'll also find the Sauk Prairie Harley-Davidson dealership where each July, the MDA Freedom Ride begins its journey. And of course, great riding can also be found throughout the area all season long. Head back to the Wisconsin River for a one mile river walk along its shore. 
and an amazing display of fireworks at the Fire on the River event each July. Months later, after the snow flies and most of the river freezes over, the Sauk Prairie area becomes a haven for bald eagles. It's just a wonderful experience to see them soaring, perching, coming off the uh, perches, fishing. While you're sure to catch a glimpse of these majestic birds throughout the winter, Libby had the opportunity to visit the area during bald eagle watching days in January. I love eagles and I had to see this for myself. Inside the event, you'll find fun gifts, kids activities, as well as several live shows in the theater. And be sure to sign up for a free bus tour to visit the eagle watching sites. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah, he's just hanging out there. Uh, and you said he's an immature one. He's not fully grown, right? He's an immature, okay. maybe two or three years old. Volunteers like Timothy bring several scopes out on weekends during the eagle watching season at Ferry Bluff Overlook. Were you able to see one of the eagles? We did. We saw two of them, and it's amazing how close they are in the scope. Yeah, so, yeah. It, it's kind of wonderful with the snow coming down on them, too. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's great. It's that's great. Another cool experience at the event is the release of rehabilitated eagles back into the wild by Marge Gibson from the Raptor Education Group. Want to join in the fun? Head to discoverwisconsin.com for a full schedule of activities during bald eagle watching days. Now, let's catch up with Colin a little further down the river.